Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. <laughs> it's been a while, it's been a week and a half, two weeks-ish. Uh, I've just been super busy and all that stuff, as usual. <laughs> so, uh, I got a chance to sit down. Jesse's in the living room watching TV and playing. So if you hear anything, it's him. And also the lighting's probably not the greatest, but uh, I'm working with what I got. <laughs> so I do got some finished objects, some whips, some acquisitions, some Happy Mail, some fabric, all kinds of stuff to show you guys. <laughs> so I don't know how long this video is gonna be, or if it's gonna be long or short, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> But I'm going to go ahead and hop into finished objects. I do have four finished objects right now. He's really loud. He's watching a funny, um, it's like a Russian cartoon that's animated. It doesn't have any talking on it. It's just like a goofy character doing stuff. But he's watching that right now. But anyways, um, so I got four finished objects, I think. Three of the same thing, and I've already showed some of these. But I made some more of the little Amigurumi rockets for the craft fair that I got coming up in October. Um, this is just called Amigurumi Rocket by One Dog Wolf. It's a free pattern, and it'll be linked below. But I made a red, a pink, and an orange one. And I also have a green and a blue one, I think, already made. But they're super, super simple. And it's the same yarn that I was talking about with the last ones, except the different colors. Um, all, all the colors, parts, the rocket accents are all red heart. This is a bright yellow. This is, I think it's hot red. And this is a pink, but I'm not sure what the pink is called. But, yeah. So, using up all these random scraps that I have of these two colors and then making some rockets. So, I got a bunch of rockets now for the crafter. <laughs> My last uh, finished object is a Jane Dunn Stitches video tutorial. So, I will link that below too. Um, straight to the video. But it's a basket and it was, she made a, she has like a little series of what to do with variegated yarns. And I have a bunch of variegated yarns. And so I just grabbed a bunch of them and made this pattern one day. And this basket is full. It's a basket. I don't know if I said that. So it's full of stuff. So I'm going to try not to spill it. But it is the Big Beautiful Basket by Jaden Stitches. And um, I can't remember if she made it with three or two strands held together. I'm trying to remember. But I made it with three strands held together. And I used four complete skeins of variegated yarn so you know they're smaller than regular stains and it's all red heart super saver and um maybe another skein of random bits of them i'm trying to remember <laughs> i can't remember all but here's my basket i love the way it turned out i think it's really cool looking it's funny how it kind of pulled in stripes you can see the stripes through there the white stripes because it's different yarns i thought that was neat but I love the colors of the bottom, too. I wish I could have made the whole basket the colors of the bottom. They go good. I know it's um, Red Heart Super Saver, Icelandic, uh, one called Antique, and what was it? I think it was a, um, a sweet row. Uh, I had a scrap bowl of a sweet row, and it was like a gray and white color. So it's, that's where a lot of this gray comes from and it just went, it went up to like right here <laughs> and then stopped. I had two and a half skeins of Icelandic and I used all of it, I think, in this basket. So Icelandic is from the beginning all the way to the end. Uh, and then the antique color lasted all the way. I have a little tiny scrap ball of it left. And then I had, um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's Red Heart Super Saver. It's like the, um, the autumn colors. I can't remember what the color is called. And then there's, I'm trying to think of what other yarns I had in here. I think I had, uh, oh, I can't remember now. <laughs> I worked on this. I made this in one day because I, I started making it and I was getting excited to see it forming. So I just sat down and finished it. But yeah, I love it. It's a big old basket. It turned out huge. It looks really cool, even though the colors would never go together in an actual, you know, a regular project. They go together good in a scrappish random project and actually what's in it is the rest of my <laughs> variegated yarns and um this isn't really variegated it's like a striping but these are just pieces that i'm saving uh for amigurumis and stuff that i want to i want to i put it all in here so i could try to use it up just some random bits that people's either gifted me or that i have left over from other projects that I want to make little amigurumis and stuff with. I just stuck them in here so that I could try to use them. But I love this basket and I want to make more of these and just have them all over the place. Um, they look cool random like this, but they would also look cool if you maybe ombre it or something. You know, did like ombre effect or even a solid color would look good, I think. 
So yeah, I'll probably be making more of these in the future. I think I used a, um, I think she said to use an end hook and I used a smaller hook because I wanted mine to be tighter. I'm trying to remember. Maybe she said P. I think I used an N either way because I wanted my stitches to be a little bit tighter. But I love this basket. I can't wait to make more. It's really cool. I don't know if you can hear him in there, but he's chuckling, and it's really cute. Now, this right here, and I forgot to get the link for it. I'll have to, I'll pop it up on the screen because I don't want to go look it up right now. This is technically finished. I'm done with all the crochet. I just have to sew it all together. And um, in order to do that, I need a wreath form, which I got to get some for the fair. Uh, I'm in full swing making fair projects. So a lot of my finished objects from like now on is going to be county fair projects. And what's cool is my county fair is before the craft fair, so stuff that I make to enter into the county fair, I can carry over to the craft fair and then try to sell it. So I think that's cool. But um, this is going to be a wreath. Uh, I make wreaths every year for the fair. And this is for a patriotic wreath. <laughs> it's an American flag. <laughs> it's all done. I just have to put it on the uh, styrofoam form when I get one. And then I got uh, little stars made for it. He's laughing so hard in there. And then, uh, you know, when I get the form, whenever I get around to remembering to buy one, I'll just sew this around it, and then the stars will go into blue part, obviously. But, yeah, it's super easy. This is all Red Heart yarn. It was um, blue, I think, cherry red, and white. And um, I can't remember the name of the pattern or the person who wrote it. I know it's a free pattern. I will pop it up somewhere on the screen, and it'll be in the description box. I just don't want to go look it up right now because I'm just trying to get this video done. But yeah, so that's technically a finished object, as in I'm finished crocheting it, but I'm not finished putting it together. Uh, hopefully, I will do that soon. But I, I plan on making, I need to make a Christmas wreath, a Halloween wreath, another holiday wreath that's not Christmas or um, Halloween or Thanksgiving, and then a Thanksgiving wreath. So I got four more wreaths to make, and then this one, so it'll be five all together. I think that's all the wreaths. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm going to be slowly working on fair projects. Alright, so that's all my finished objects. I do got quite a few whips. Let me move my computer. Ooh, my lighting's weird. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and show this one just to get it out of the way. Because it's big. Well, this one's big too. I'll show both of these ones first. I'm trying to remember what bag the other one's pieces are in. <laughs> Let's see. That's the blanket. Okay. Alright. My first whip is another county fair project. And also, my I might try to sell it at my craft fair. I may just keep it as a decoration. Oh, we're not big. Is this the right? Yeah. I'm almost done with this. This one was kind of a pain in the butt. The pattern was written using two strands of worsted weight yarn held together, but I used three because I wanted to make it bigger and I wanted my stitches to be tighter without so many holes in it because it's a stuffed thing. And I didn't want um, the stuff in, you know, coming out, showing through the holes. But it is, and it's dirty. Jesse got Play-Doh on it. I gotta try to clean it off or um, just cover it up with, because this pattern has a hat with it. So, right now it looks like a giant, like, peel. <laughs> See, there's the Play-Doh. Um, it kind of looks like a Tsum Tsum body, if it was this way. But it's gonna be an eagle. <laughs> it's uh, by Heidi Yates. It's called Spirit the Eagle Stuffy by Heidi Yates. It's paid for pattern. And it's, you know, eagle with like an, a uh, red, white, and blue hat. So it's like an American <laughs> patriotic thing. And I'm making it for the patriotic decoration other than wreath category at our county fair. So I got his body done and stuffed. I just got to clean that plate off. And these are his wings. I got to sew on there. <clears throat> and then I got to make his beak, his eyes, his hat. And he has a pom-pom under his hat. But I'm probably going to make the hat to where it's sewn on. So that I could cover up that Play-Doh because I don't think I'm going to be able to get that out of there. It's blue. <laughs> I will try, but if not, I'll just sew the hat on there and uh, not worry about it. So yeah, I'm almost done with that. That was a pain in the butt. It hurt my hands big time working with it. And it was kind of annoying because it's three different strands of um, yarn at a time. And I, I can't remember. I think I used a J-hook because I wanted the stitches to be really tight and not show stuffing. And I like the texture on the... Uh, brown and actually in the pattern she wanted you to do it when you got done you know right down here where you're getting ready to close it she wanted you to turn it inside out to where the outside is facing out because of the texture but I actually I don't like the way the outside the inside <laughs> of crochet regular crochet stitches look so I did leave it just right side out 
but I like the way that looks better than the the back side of single crochets but yeah so that's it gonna be a big giant eagle so I'm gonna throw it back there for now on Jesse's bed but um <clears throat> my next big whip is the 2019 folk calendar blanket by Jade and Stitches it's free on her YouTube channel it's she's released five parts of it now uh, the, I finally finished the fourth part which was the trees <laughs> I made them all and sewed them on I'm not a hundred percent happy with the placement but uh, I don't want to fix it either <laughs> so there's my son in my trees I haven't started the barn yet I, uh, I seen the pattern and it's in my watch later <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to actually making it yet so um, yeah I used some different colors for the trees. I used two different colors for the trunks. That blue from the laptop is blowing everything out. Two different colors for the trunks. A light brown and a darker brown. And I used three different colors for the leaves. I used a medium green, a dark green, and then a variegated green. I don't remember any other colorways. I'm pretty sure they're all Red Heart Saber Saber, but um, a lot of them are from scrap balls that don't have bands on them, so I'm not sure for sure what they are. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I mean, I like them, but I'm a little... I just don't like the placement that well. But, uh, I think it all come together. I'm hoping that she puts something on the trees later, like little birds or something. And if she doesn't, I might, uh, make my little, <laughs> uh, appliques and throw on there. But, I mean, she's still got half a year of patterns to release for it, so there's probably a lot of cool things that's gonna go on that blanket. I'm looking forward to that. I like having long-term projects like that that you only do a little bit at a time because it's something to fill in the, the spaces. When you get tired of working on one thing, you can just switch to that one. Okay, I did a really bad job at writing down my whips <laughs> because there's two whips that I'm working on that aren't on my computer. So I'm going to have to try to remember what they are and then look them up later and put them on the screen. This first one, I know what this one's called. Yeah. This one is called the High Tide... Uh, crochet along. It's being hosted on a Facebook group by the um, creator of the pattern and it's B-E-B-A B -E -B -A blanket. I will have it linked below. I just can't remember everything word for word. <laughs> but it's a crochet along. You, She has the first um, part of it open to where you can download it and then to get the next part and the next part and the next part and the next part you have to finish the one before that and then post a picture of it. And um, then message them and then they'll send you the uh the pdf download for the next part of the um blanket and she's got like five that five thousand five hundred people participating in this cow or at least signed up for it i don't know if anyone's everybody's actually participating in it i'm on part two i can't remember which round i'm on i'll have to count the rows or something because i haven't worked on this in a few days like a week but i'm using red heart super saver ombre and scuba it's getting awful floppy <laughs> But like I said, I'm on the second part of the cow, and this is how far I am right now. Woo, all that light coming through. Can you see it? It's got a lot of texture going on. I really like it. I can't wait to finish it. But it's been on the back burner because I've been working on a test pattern, and then I was working on that big eagle. <laughs> and uh, once I started it, I wanted to get it done because I did not like working with the thickness of the three strands. So um, this has been on the back burner, but I'll pick it back up. Maybe this weekend since it's a holiday weekend and Devin will be home. So uh, I'll have more time to sit down and crochet maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really liking that pattern. I uh, printed out the newest part so that I could, you know, take it with me and do it. Alright. Now my last whip. I think it's my last whip. Let me move this. I've got stuff everywhere and I accidentally unplugged my laptop. This is the test pattern I'm working on. I'm almost done with it, actually. I just uh, got busy, got sidetracked. This is another pattern from Michelle Estrada. She's actually releasing it today that I'm filming this. It's um, the 23rd, which is also, also National Turtle Day, I think, or National Sea Turtle Day. It's one of the two. <laughs> it's about turtles, and the pattern that she is releasing is a turtle. Um, I got his whole body done. I just need to... And I've got them almost sewed together. I have to stuff him, put his eyes and you know, all, any stitched on stuff that I'm going to do. And then finish closing him up. Um, but I made him in brown. So this is the top part of him. This is his head. Where his eyes will be. And his shell. And legs. 
and then the underbelly of his shell, the bottom part. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see, I got them all sewed up except that one part, um, so I can stuff him and uh, put his eyes on and all that fun stuff. And then I'll sew him up and he'll be a turtle. I made him in browns because the turtles around here, you know, we have river turtles and pond turtles. Their, their color schemes are more browns. And uh, there are green ones, but they're mostly brown, <laughs> the ones that I see. So I thought it'd be cool to make brown ones. And uh, I really like this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get rid of this. Because I was, I was thinking I was going to make it and put it in my craft fair. But it's super cute. <laughs> I have enough of the brown yarns to make another one. Oh, not the cafe latte though. I'll talk about that in a second. But, um, I really like it. This one, I think is a Red Heart Tweed or something like that. I got it as a, in, a, in one of the boxes that Becky sent me. It was like a scrap ball left over from something. And, um, I've been saving it to make Emma Green with. And then I thought it would be good for his underbelly shawl. Or, shawl. <laughs> underbelly shell. And then the top is, uh, Red Heart Super Saver. It's a brown variegated. I'm not sure. And then all the legs and stuff are, um, Cafe Latte. And I had a brand new ball the jumbo one of cafe latte and between that eagle and this turtle all i have left is this <laughs> they used up a lot of that brown yarn that was a jumbo yarn so it was crazy but um i think I, actually i think i have a random scrap of all this too but i just thought that was weird between them two they used up that much so yeah i'm almost done with this turtle he's cute i the only thing i did different uh than her written pattern is I did use a smaller hook, but only because my tension is um, tighter. So she has it written to use an H hook, and I used a G hook, and I'm happy with it. There's no holes or anything. Had I used an H hook, there would have been holes because um, that's the same thing I did with her other patterns that she wrote. Uh, I used uh, the size she suggested, and I, mine became real holy. So I'm just gonna, I, I'm a tight crocheter, so I needed a smaller hook to uh, help hide the holes. But uh, yeah. I think he turned out super cute, and I can't wait to finish him and put his eyes in. I got a bunch of colored um, safety eyes. I may try to find some. I think I got some that are black, but the iris is brown. I may put some of those in there. I don't know. I'll have to dig through one and look. But I think it's really cute. It's super easy pattern. It's made technically in two pieces. It's two uh, panels, kind of like a, um, a rag doll. And what you do is you start with the shell, and you make the shell, you know, either or. Because it's the same exact pattern. You just do it twice and then you change the colors for the top shell and the bottom shell. So you make the shell part, the round part. And then you go back and you add on the head and the legs. And she has a really nice graphic on the um, pattern telling you which leg is which. So that you know which, you know. Because actually, funny enough, I somehow ended up putting one of the outer shell's legs on backwards. I had to rip it out. <laughs> one of the shell, the legs, instead of pointing down, you know, like it's the flippers are. It was pointed up, up here, and I don't know how that happened. I just got twisted around. So I had to pull it out and actually redo it. And I just did that really right before, because I was working on this right before I started filming. But yeah, I love this. It turned out super cute. <laughs> it's gonna look even cuter once it's got stuffing in it. <laughs> it looks pretty cute flat though, already. And uh, I definitely wanna make more of these. I wanna make some green ones and maybe another brown one, because I think these would be cute for the craft fair because uh, turtles are a big thing around here. <laughs> I don't know if, it seems like everybody's worried about turtles nowadays. Um, but, um, everybody likes turtles around here. Everybody's always helping them across the road and all that. So I think kids would like them. Maybe even some grown-ups because I'm loving this. I don't really want to get rid of it. I love the colors. But yeah, so that's my turtle by Michelle Strada. If, uh, she's got the pattern up by the time I put this out, I will link it below. If not, I will just link her Ravelry store below and you can check it out and see if it's up later. But I love that. I can't wait to finish it. I'll probably try to finish that later today. Stuff all that in there. Alright, I think that's all of my um, whips. I was trying to remember, yeah, because that's the rest of the eagle in there. That's all my whips. Okay. Alright, I had to hop off to get something. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and show Happy Mail. I got two pieces of Happy Mail. One was just a card from Sarah Lee, and she has, it says, Life a Little Random on YouTube. And it's just a congratulations card for uh, getting married. I don't like jazz. Yes. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that. It's cute. It's got cactus on it and looks like kind of aloe and some kind of vine thing. <laughs> it's just really cute. But uh, and the other happy moment I got was a giveaway that I won from Cinnamon Stitches Crochet. Right? Yeah. On YouTube. And her name is Jennifer. Did I say that right? Where's the label at? 
yeah, cinnamon stitches. I just want to make sure. So I won one of her giveaways. She had a giveaway, and then she ended up picking three winners because I think it was a 100 subscriber giveaway, and by the time she got around doing it, she um, had 300 subscribers or something like that. So she picked three people, and I was one of those people. And so she had, she showed three um, prize packs, and then she said that, you know, you would get one of these in the mail. She wasn't sure which one because she was just going to, like, randomly do it. So the one that I got was, this has got plastic on it, so it might be loud, but it's a big old pack, a value pack, I think it says, or something like that, yeah, $40 value, and it's Willow something, Willow Yarns Burrow, it's a chunky, let me just rip up one of the bags it is a chunky weight, where's the label at, <laughs> it's 75% acrylic, 25% wool, bulky weight uh 131 yards i think i calculated it up and it's like 760 yards or 80 or something like that of this yarn i have no idea what i'm going to do with it <laughs> um i'll have to put it aside until i can figure out what to do with this much bulky weight yarn i've never really worked with bulky weight a lot i've used some like burnett blanket but um not you know this is only like a little bit bigger than worsted so i'll have to figure out something good to make with all this and try to use all of it up at once um but yeah so it's a cool it's like a gray blue color bluey gray color <laughs> yeah that's part of it i'm not gonna stick that back in there chuck everything on jesse's bed and then i got two balls this is really pretty this is um premier yarns devil norville collection serenity chunky and i got two of them and it is 109 yards each I think it's just 100%, yeah, 100% acrylic, and it's like a purple, gray, and white, uh, color. <laughs> it's blown out a little bit, but it's really pretty. And then this one, I was really hoping I would get one of the, the boxes, because she had two cakes of this in two different packages, and I was hoping I would get one of these, and I did, and it is a cake of cotton yarn. It is, uh, Stitch Studio by Nicole Cotton Colors. It's a size 2. 100% cotton, I said a co cotton, Jesse's talking to me, uh, 1,093 yards, and it is a number two, so it's pretty small, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but I, I wanted one, <laughs> so I'm going to have to figure out something cool to make with this, it feels really cool, but yeah, I'm excited about it, it's really pretty, can't wait to use that, and then also in there, she put a pack of tea, a fruit tea and two peppermint things. Thanks. Give me this freaking English. And a crochet hook. That's one of the light up hooks. I've been wanting to try one of these <laughs> forever. Most. But um, it's an elf hook, which is like perfect. That's one of my favorite hooks to use. But yeah, I'm going to like check this out probably later tonight. I'm going to try using it. Um, I don't know what kind of batteries it takes. I assume like watch batteries. Woo, I just threw one of them. Yep, they're little tiny like watch batteries. So that's cool. I, uh, ah, <laughs> every time I put one in, another one pops out. I can't wait to try this. I've been wanting one of these forever. If I like this, I might try to get the whole set. Maybe for Christmas or something. I thought I heard somebody knock. I don't know, JC would let me know. He's like a dog. If someone knocks, he comes running and barking. <laughs> Not actually barking, but he'll be like, ah, someone's at the door. But yeah, so that's my giveaway from her and my card. Just being loud. Let me go see what he wants. Okay, he wanted some chocolate milk. <laughs> Alright, now today I also went to the thrift store. Um, near us, it's like a local one. I mean, it's kind of a chain, but it's a local chain. Like, it's only in the area around us. <laughs> so far, I guess it could grow. But, um, anyways, they sell their books. And magazines and stuff 39 cents a pound <laughs> and I bought a pound and a half of books today and um, no it was more than that it was a dollar and a half that's what it was it was dollar fifty for all of them so however many pounds that is <laughs> but uh, Jesse got a few books and then I got these are just cooking magazines taste of home but I got some uh, crochet books usually they don't have crochet books I guess I just put these out because there's somebody else that always beats me there but they're magazines mostly and um, the little leisure art pamphlet thingies but I got some crochet magazines I don't know how they are this one's 2017 crochet scene 
This one is a McCall's Design Ideas. I'm trying to see if it has a year on it. It doesn't say, it just says volume 25. But it's a Christmas knit and crochet. So it's got knit and crochet patterns in it. Um, a bunch of them. And what's really cool in here are these socks. Look at these kid socks. There's three knit patterns and three crochet patterns. This one's crochet, this one's crochet, and the one in the middle with the yellow. The other three are knit, but they're so cute. <laughs> they look like shoes and stuff. Oh, that's so cool. But there's patterns in all of these. I already looked through all of them. And then this is like a 1993. I was three years old when this came out. Country Crochet Magazine. <laughs> Got a bunch of patterns in it. And then these are a bunch of other leaflets, right? No, there's another magazine. Let me get this one. This one's called Magic Crochet. And it's February 86. I wasn't even born yet when this magazine came out. This is, um, all their patterns are like thread. But there are some in there that uh, I think I would like to do, especially for fair projects. But it's got a lot on there. Got a cute little ad on the back. <laughs> That's one thing I love about getting older magazines is looking at the ads. And then these are all leaflets. So, um, I'm not sure if they're all leisure arts. But most of, a lot of them are. I don't know. But this one is crochet towel edgings. So it's just a bunch of little edging things people put on towels. I thought that was cool. This one is snowballs, snowflakes, and bales. This made me think of Becky because she's making all the snowflakes. And this has got a bunch right here. <laughs> it's got a bunch of snowflakes and bales. And my mom used to have a bunch of these stiff bells. Um... I don't know how you make them stiff. I guess it might say in here how to look. But um, I think that's cool. It would be cool to have a bunch of those because it would be kind of vintage-y. And I might even use like an off-white instead of a white. Just to make it look vintage-y. <laughs> this one is a Thread Crochet Angel Adornments. <laughs> and they're just, they're like the, the thread, but they're angels. I don't know if I ever make them, but um, I got the book. It was crochet book. I wasn't going to leave it. <laughs> Uh, and there's another angel one. This right here is the same brand. Annie's Attic. Oh yeah, I bought patterns from that website. Um, this is Angels from Around the World. And it's got... This is like a Native American angel. This one's called the Country Angel. This one looks Asian. And then on the back, there's like a, a Dutch looking one. I don't know, it's just all kinds of different... Um, ethnics or whatever. Angels. I thought that's cool. That's pretty neat. And then another Christmas ornament one. This one is Christmas Romance Ornaments. <laughs> They're just more of those uh, stiff ones. I don't know how they make them that way. And there's more on the back. And then this one is Bathroom Tissue Toppers. It's toilet paper <laughs> covers. I've actually been wanting to make some of these. Just because I think they're cute. And then there's some more. On the back. This one looks a little bit newer. I don't know if it is new. And then another Christmas ornament one. This one's just called Snowballs. And it's got nine designs. Two crochet. I'll probably make something like this for the fair. Because uh, every year that I've seen it, it's been dainty ones like this to win. And then last year when I made a dainty one, it won first place. So these ones that are, um, they look more intricate are the ones that win. And this one is, this one made me think of Hannah. I don't know if it's because there's like boats, so it's like oceany, or just because it's tops. <laughs> but it's um, crochet tops in sport weight. And it's just crochet tops in sport weight. <laughs> but for some reason, it made me think of Hannah, I guess, because of the like ocean. And she lives in Florida. I don't know. And then this one's a knitting one, but I grabbed it anyways. Um, and it's authentic fisherman knits. And it's the cabled sweaters. I really like this bobble one. <laughs> Probably never make these, but I could gift it to someone who doesn't knit. And then this one is quick cro crochet sweaters and vests. Vests. I actually like this one down here. But there's sweaters and vests in the fly. And then this one's super cute. And it is country life crochet paw holders. And it's a bunch of animal paw holders. Country animal paw holders. And there's a sheep. I thought that was cute. You can even make um, rag dolls out of these. You can make two of them and sew them together <laughs> to make rag dolls. But yeah. So that's all the uh, crochet books that I got. And like I said, I did get to Taste at Home magazines, 
And I also got one of my birthday cakes <laughs> because um, I like to make everybody's birthday cakes every year. And I thought this would just give me some good ideas. And then a canning one because I always pick up canning books when I see them. Because I do want to learn how to can. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But they had a bunch of crochet books today and I got every single one of them. That's everything I have to show, I think, other than I didn't want to show you the new prints that I got picked out. And they're all cut and ready to be sewn. I'm going to start sewing them today, actually. Um, I'll show you the notion pouches, just because I don't want to have to unfold all these. But I just grabbed, I think, six different prints this time. I'm just trying to find something, you know, more summery prints. And um, so here they are. This is the first one, which is kind of like summer flowers and they do have flamingos on them the bags you know have fuller pictures <laughs> and then they're all stuck together because of the interfacing <laughs> flip-flops and sunglasses i haven't put the interfacing on yet i just got them stacked up ready to go when i get to working on them ready to be all ironed and sold on and all that stuff and then i got this purple but it's like not marbled, but it looks like it's been painted, you know? Like with strokes or whatever. I got purple because it seems like everybody loves purple right now. And then I did get enough to make two more sets of the teapots. Because <laughs> everybody loves the teapots, too. And then I got these cute, um... If I can get to pick them up. Where's the other one? Watermelon print. This is the only watermelon print I could find. Someone asked about watermelon. It's got ants on it like a picnic table. I couldn't find just a watermelon print without ants, but this is super cute, I think. <laughs> I think it's really cute. And then the last one that I got was this cool, that's, that goes down there. <laughs> um, just this green background with these flowers on it. I thought that was really pretty. But those bags will be going up in the shop hopefully by Monday, probably Sunday night if I can get uh, the chance to sit down and sew them. I got them all cut, stacked right there ready to start sewing <laughs> I just gotta do it but um yeah I'm gonna try to get those up in the shop this by the, this weekend sometime it's a three-day weekend here in the U.S. because it's Memorial Day weekend which is um where we you know we recognize the sacrifices made by all of the soldiers and stuff uh the ones who died Memorial Day weekend is the ones for the ones who you know gave their life for the country and then in September is a Veterans Day that is for the ones that are still alive and still serving or had served in the past just you know for clarification <laughs> if anyone's wondering why we have two like patriotic holidays like that and then of course 4th of July is celebrating independence um, from you know Britain or whatever <laughs> it's kind of I always thought that was kind of weird because it's like we're celebrating being separate from them I wonder if anyone ever is like offended by that <laughs> but I mean by now this many years later no one should care but um I'm sure back then <laughs> it was probably a sore subject but um no one cares nowadays who cares no one cares oh yeah so I got all this stuff I gotta clean up now because I gotta clean up the desk to um make room for sewing <laughs> and then I need to what else I need to do nothing it's gonna be three day weekend like I said Devin's off he's supposed to be off Saturday he doesn't know for sure yet until probably tomorrow. He'll know for sure. Uh, and then he'll be off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Because Memorial Day is actually on Monday. Um, it's always on a Monday. I think it's always the last Monday of May. And it's also Memorial Day weekend is like the kickoff of summer down here where we live. It's where everybody starts barbecuing outside. And most people, all the pools, local pools open and swimming opens everywhere. And so I'm sure we'll get into a lot of stuff this weekend. I do have to go to the eye doctor on Saturday. Um, ooh, it's going to be fun. <laughs> but, um, and then I'm sure we'll get into other stuff this weekend. I am planning on filming a weekend vlog. But it may be a little um, skippy because I've not done it so long. <laughs> I'll probably forget to film and then I'll have to, like, oh, I forgot. But um, I'm sure with, with Evan being off and it's supposed to be a pretty weekend, I'm sure uh, we'll go to parks and maybe to the splash pad because it's open now and Jesse loves it. So I'd like to take him to that. And I'm sure we'll end up at Devin's dad's and having grill outs and all that. And I don't know what else we'll get into. We'll have to just wait and see. Um, I should get glasses. <laughs> I'm supposed to be wearing glasses. I just lost them in the move. So I've got to go back to the eye doctor Saturday and then they're going to do, you know, all the testing and stuff. And then, uh, if I do get glasses again, which I'm sure I need them because I know I do, <laughs> uh, I'll have to go pick them up sometime next week. 
and so then I'll have glasses on. <laughs> Usually, when I had glasses before, it wasn't like all the time glasses. It was just when I was doing certain stuff glasses. So, uh, I don't know if I'll have to wear them all the time now or not. Or if it'll just be some of the time. But yeah, I guess that's everything. I need to go back in there with him. He's cackling in there watching TV. I don't know what time it is. I probably need to get ready to start cooking something for dinner. I'll probably make chili or something. I know some people only eat chili during like cold months, but I can eat chili anytime. I love chili. It's one of my favorite. Chili and potato soup and um, chicken and dumplings. But a lot of people associate that with like fall and winter, but I can eat those anytime. <laughs> I can eat chicken and dumplings like two times a week and never get tired of it. I love chicken and dumplings. It's my favorite food ever. Period. <laughs> I could probably live off of chicken and dumplings. But yeah, so I think that's everything. I got some plans to send some happy mail to people. I just have to um, get it done. I'm, I'm a procrastinator horribly. I got some bags that I want to make for certain people and start sending them out. <laughs> I'm just so bad. I'm so slow at doing stuff. And the um, the carousel package should be heading towards me soon. Um, the woman before me has it now. I don't think she's mailed it yet because I haven't gotten the notification on my P.O. box. But um, I can't wait for that to get here. <laughs> uh, and then I'm not, I can't remember who I'm supposed to send it to. I haven't even looked. So I'll have to look at that. And when it comes, I will show you guys what I got. And um, I won't show you the rest, obviously. And I'm going to put some goodies in there. I already got some stuff set up to uh, put in there. And I hope there's something good in there for me. I'm always so excited. I love it when I get one of those and it's yarns from places not around me. Because, um, you know, like locally I only have a Walmart and a Hobby Lobby. And I do have a Joann's. Um, and a Michaels, but it's, uh, it's about 45 minutes away, so I only get to go there once in a blue moon, or usually when I go to Joann's or Michaels or like Tuesday morning, it's when we're on vacation, because all of those are in Gatlinburg, well not Gatlinburg, but in Pigeon Forge and Sevierville area, <laughs> so I do get to visit those a lot, and um, well not a lot, but you know when I go on trips. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm probably going to go ahead and hop off because I'm not, this isn't a crochet chat. I don't need to sit here and chat all day. <laughs> but I'm going to try to be a little bit more regular on my videos. Um, I actually meant to film a couple days ago, but I was just so busy. When Jesse's here, I'm busy, you know, being a mom and doing mom stuff plus uh, house stuff and then work stuff, YouTube slash Etsy stuff. <laughs> and then when he's gone, I'm always like, yeah, when he leaves, I'm going to film and get these videos up. And then when he's at my mom's or something, I spend the whole time cleaning and stuff. And I get distracted. So I'm going to try to... I need to get back because I used to like make it out on my planner when to film and upload and all that. I need to start doing that again so that I um, can get like a routine back. But I'm going to try. <laughs> uh, no quotes though. <laughs> Don't hold me to that. But yeah, I got to go clean all this stuff up before Jesse comes back in here because this is his room. I've been filming it because it's got an empty table in it. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that is. There'll for sure be one. A weekend vlog coming up and whenever I get that carousel package I will film a quick clip of everything that I kept out of that so that'll be coming up um, probably in the next week um, she should be sending it out she may have already sent it but if it's after a certain time my PO box doesn't update it like only updates in the morning around 10 and then after that it um, doesn't update again until the next morning so she may have sent it already I don't know I just haven't seen it <laughs> but I'm looking forward to getting it and um, picking out some goodies and then putting some stuff in there and uh, I can't wait. To, uh, what's fun about those is when you put stuff in there and then you watch other people's videos, it's cool to see them take something you put in there out. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to hop off, off here and try to get this edited and up today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.